Louis C. The Mayor checking in. What is good today, boy? We about to get this thing popping. Man, oh man, it's going to be for real on the show today. Thank you, Florida Keys NG. Lawyers, Accent, and Lawyers in the Geys. Go to FloridaKeysNG.com at 302 Southern Street. Locals taking care of locals. If you get in an accident, that's all you need to do. They'll take it from there. Advanced Urgent Care Key West Marathon in Key Largo. Now offering affordable health care, $89 with the keyscares.com. Two Ks there. Let me tell you, the best plan that's came out since we've been living, and especially with a pandemic going on, you got to make sure you're taken care of because uh, you don't want to die because you can't uh, get some health care. Right over here, this man know about this paradise 124 Duval Street. I mean, it's a little bit hard to find, but when you find it, you're going to be in heaven. Finally, uh, brand new Cuban food in town. So happy. So make sure you uh, check them out. Tell them Louis C. the mayor to send you over there. Right about now, boy, this boy is state champ. Coming straight at 1984. Doing it big. He bleed red and gray. Strong. This boy's still at it. He's still at it like we used to go and stretch out out there uh, by uh, left field. That man's still at it like that, boy. That man, that man going strong. Joey Gandolfo, welcome to the program. All love right now. How you doing, sir? Can you please give these people a little introduction about yourself? I'm good. My name's Joey Gandolfo. I think most people watching this probably know who I am. Been born and raised comp. Um, like he says, I believe red and gray. I got my favorite teams on right now, actually. Okay. Don't, you don't catch me not matching too often, so you can yeah. mark this day down. That man stay uh, <laughs> color color coordinated. Color hey, coordinated on the cage from my boy C Rock. Who who is who is Michael Knowles on production today? So thank you, uh Michael Knowles for making things happen. Joey, uh let's turn this phone on out here so make sure you straight and we're gonna get this thing. Come on in the podcast, hit the notifications button uh right over here. Woo! And those of y'all watching worldwide, that's why I do a little introduction. I'm gonna introduce you to worldwide, like Mr. 305 like Pitbull, you. because you 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 uh you famous, but you ain't worldwide yet. Oh over here you're going I'm worldwide. To catch right up now. With Stephen A. Is what yeah, you're you, telling you, me. Oh. you I mean you I'm ready for him anyway. Let, I need to uh, debate him on that Dak press. Let, let, let me explain something to you. Okay. On any given day, uh in my opinion, you give Steve A a run for his money. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No you, question. you eat, sleep, and breathe sports. <laughs> so what I'm gonna ask you to do is uh I'm pro now, let's see, Rob. Are you still out there throwing the baseball? <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Tell these people real quick before we get it proper. What was your day like today out there in that cage? I know it's got to be hot out there. Yeah, today it was a little hot. It got humid again. Like, um, like the, it felt like a little summer day out there. So it was a little humid, but I'm kind of used to it. I've been throwing ball for a long time. As long as I stay healthy, I'm going to keep giving lessons and working with the kids. It's, hey, it's a good thing. And you almost took your keep plan. Keep in touch with the youth. You 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 are you are no, I'm a little bit from my playing play way, but I'm about to go down again. All right, George. So here you go, sir. That's your watch party. Uh oh, hell no. Look, there you go. Who you got on there? Uh, checking in already. Can you see them there? You want the readers? I need the old man peepers. Yep. But this is clear. Me too. So don't. Mm -hmm. Joey Vasquez. I see. see. Who who you got? Vasquez. Big Granny. John Gibbs Senior, my boy. Big Joe Joey Vasquez. What's up? <clears throat> Miami Dolphins look good. I know Joey Vasquez, the weasel, aka the weasel. That's between me that's, and him. That's though. Joey. That's nothing bad though. That's, that's just he cheats in video Joey? games. Yeah. Just Joe don't talk about that. Before Joey. we get into this, y'all would know uh, mm -hmm. when we talk. That's Joey from Mary Magdalene. Joey Vasquez from Mary Magdalene. He, he played yeah. one. Con he played for the Conks one year. He played when he came. No, he came over. I think he played two years. Then they two come years. over eighty six. Yeah, yeah. We left. He can hit the baseball player. Okay? Yeah, Joey's a good little player. My man, my man, Joey. I don't Wait, care. So. Cheater. When it comes to video games, I had, I had him beat one night. He had the cheap fake button stuff on me. Hey, listen. And I don't even play video games. Let me. Let That's me. That's where you got the weasel. You always be the weasel to me. Uh, who is Michael knows what we got over there on your side? What's up, Joe? Uh oh, let me see. So listen. Um, I don't care what they say about Joey Vasco, that's my man. He, he's a good dude. Good people, so man. all love, come on in. My man uh, Gandalf, I'm happy. This is one of my favorite people in the world. Come on the podcast today. And uh, he's my number one, the only sports information director that I got. So he, he number one man. in my book. And I don't care what they talk about. That's anyway. my resume. I forget about you that. You see that? Is that the one they call you on the phone too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They show them that. Show them that on camera. They, they say, the they see that? Yeah, just to watch. Mm. That boy doing yeah. it big. Who we got over there on your side, uh, No. It says uh, Pablo Ali, and Pablo Ali say Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. Okay, Pablo, you know who Pablo Ali is? Just so they know. What? Oh, you, what, what kind of mask you got there, sir? 
Fighting Irish. They already know. You know what I got here? They already know. You ain't got this one? Oh, no. I need one of them. I seen that. Pablo Ali checking in right now. Give me one of them. Um, Pablo Ali, Joy requested mass. This came from the uh, basketball program. Uh, due to contrary believe this man is a friend of the program. Anybody yes. to me, if you have a, a state championship ring, automatically uh, you, you qualify, but you don't even need no 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 oh, ring, oh, even oh, if you didn't oh, have it, awesome. let alone that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look who popped in over there. Uh, Usumbeto. Oh, Usumbeto. Boy, that's a hell of a Usum, what's up? Uh, Ellie, you still owe me some drinks when you come down here now. I ain't forgot. Who else we got on your side, Nobis? Uh, Ellie, Brian Bob. Anthony. Brian Anthony coming kids. in. Who else you got? John Tegovich. What's up? John, what is going on, sir? Let me see who we got on his side. See, um, people think me and his birthday don't like each other because of old political <laughs> nonsense. Yeah, That's they don't know, know y'all family. Though. Who else you got? He there, grew up with me. He Pam. said I bullied him. He's a liar, though. Who is it, Michael? Pamela Hershey. Oh, Pamela, what's going on? Hey, listen, we do this new thing now. <clears> uh, Called the roll call. If you're if your city acting reckless, so I'm you know there's there's a lot of reckless going on with mass and all. I ain't found one city somebody to tell me that they're city acting reckless. So are they acting reckless in Minnesota? I want to do a city check in right now. Who you got, Michael? With me? I'm gonna go to Joey's we, screen. We got Pete Othman. Okay. And then we got Monica. Pete, Hood. Monica, what's going on? And then we got Sean Levin. Sean, what is popping today? Sean McDonald. Sean McDonald Sean. in the building. Tanya Lito. Uh, Lido, number one chiropractor in the world. Dr. Lido, make sure to check him out. Steve, and who else? Stephen Bowen. And then you got... Stephen Bowen on there? Boy. <laughs> we got Paul Blake on there. It's going to be for real. Who else we got? Donald Lopez. Got you. Uh, Joseph Gibson. Okay. Joseph, thank you for checking uh, in. Henry G. Franklin. Henry checking in. I'm going to get all these people. Mary Valdez. Who? Mary Valdez. Mary. Mario Lott. Mar oh, oh, Mario Park in Mario Park. Oh, and that's oh, it. That. All right, so I'm going to give you this. I want you to put this back on my uh, Louis C. Rock. When you get a chance, just take your time. So, Joey, let's get right into the business. But before we talk sports, talk uh, you know, you you born and bred in Key West from day one. You a day one, right? Absolutely. So let me ask you a question. The Pooh Hospital. I, I just want to mention. Uh, to Not this the Pooh, the real the Pooh. They don't know about that. That's, that's Lester, straight conk, conk stuff? Dr. Lesser, that's straight, real conk, old okay. school. Okay. So th this is uh, pure <laughs> blood roll, red and gray all day. So I'm just going to say two words to you. Cruise ships. Can cruise you, ships. Cruise ships. Can you give me your opinion? Do you want no cruise ships in Key West whatsoever? Or are you okay how cruise ships are coming into Key West? No. Well... There's two different things, two different answers to that. I always would love to have the Key West back I had when I was a kid. That's gone, though. Gotcha. And I know cruise ships now are a big part of making money for a lot of people, you know. And i got friends, actually, that right. it's a big part of their industry. So people fighting that really don't know what they're talking about. Right. If you take it away from Key West, they keep fighting to take all these things away from Key West. And I appreciate it because I'm as local as they come. But what you got to remember, when you take away the popularity, you take away income from people, you run people out of the city. When you run people out of the city, you start to affect your bottom line, but you all ain't taking into consideration. Your property value starts dropping when people don't want to be there and there ain't that many people coming. So you got to always think of it from, you know... From both sides. Yes, from a different perspective, a big perspective. Right. No, I think that that's yeah. fair. And, you know, a lot of people... I'll be honest with you. I got it. I understand all the negatives, but the bottom line is, you know, it's economics and it's an industry in Key West that, you know, it's helped many people. Well, I'm, 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 with, I'm with a million percent with cruise ships coming in, so let's be clear. But yeah. what I like what I like to say But you is, know what I'm saying. I'm talking about my Key West is like when a hurricane comes, yeah. you get a whole Key West, you see nothing but the locals. You can, you know, go anywhere and you just run into nothing but locals. That's my growing up days, you know. No, no doubt. That's and and what, I, what I'm going to say about it is I think there's a lot of miscommunication and confusion out there because people think that, you know, T-shirt shops or the mm -hmm. cosmetic shops uh, are the ones that, that benefit uh, from uh, cruise ships only. Yeah. And, and the reality is you, you have people that are conks that benefit. that That's their livelihood. And For some sure. people will be out of business if the cruise ships end because it's hard to replace wow. That type of business in the daytime with something else. What are you going to replace make, that? I'm going to make a point because one of the businesses is going to hurt directly. And you could think, like, whatever you like about Ed, whatever yeah. you're saying. But right. that company itself, I know personally, 
they they support the youth of our community a lot. They do a lot for people that people don't even realize. And you start damaging their bottom line, then you hurting the community in whole. You gotta you gotta you gotta think in the big picture, you know, people. You can't just think narrow minded, you know. And I and I understand their point of view. I'm not trying to disrespect people that want old Key West back or for whatever reason they're doing it. You know what I mean? But the bottom line is, it's a lot more positive than negative. So take gotcha. your write down on a piece of paper what's positive, yeah. what's negative, and that's how you make it. One good point you made, which a lot of people don't don't understand, uh, mm-hmm. Children's Day. Yeah. That company that you just talked about. Well, I don't even been doing HTA like a long time. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Got you. So so directly affected. So so bottom line is our, our friend and, and uh our baseball partner, uh, let's talk about Big Freddie. They Big affected Freddy. affected with that. Or right. whatever. How would you like to, and we're gonna get off this in a minute, but how would you like to have a business, you mind your 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 business, you go to work every day, you have kids uh to feed. And then you're not doing anything to rip off nobody. You're just running a good, yeah, legitimate yeah. business. And then they say, "Oh, you're out of business now because they shut down." Would, would that be? Would that be all right with you? No. And, yeah. and then you support the community. Plus, you're giving back to the community, all sports and stuff. So gotcha. I think people know when they they go over there, they they take care of the yes. kids. Yes, for sure. And that's just one business. We we just, just we could think keep of all on. the different things. Yeah, I could go on and plenty. I just happen to know them personally. Got gotcha. you. Okay, so a uh, bottom line, right about now. We doing a conk baseball roll call. Uh-oh. Come on in if you play for the conks. You put that uniform on, or you just a friend of the program. Come on in on the lock, or we gonna get this thing cracking. You know, me, me and Joy, we were doing blood raw before I come up with the term. We've been doing this since, since 1985, blood raw, and now we calm. You know what I'm saying? We 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 uh, you know we a little bit older, but don't get it twisted. On any given day, we could get with you, <laughs> depending on the circumstances or whatnot. So, uh, Joe, let me um. We Ask you a question. Um, rumor has it, uh, you my boy and, Carl Allen checked in. I see that. Yeah, Carly, what's up? We got a lot of people checking. We're going to talk about play football, baseball, man. We're we going to get uh, to everybody. Boy. So, some of y'all trying to call on the live. Y'all know, unless mom calling, we don't answer no calls on the live. When we live, we live. Just like uh, on Channel 10, they can't answer no phone calls. Yeah, like when I'm in the gym, I tell them my phone goes in my backpack. If my kids, I tell them they got to die. Yeah. Some other yeah. than those two or three hours I'm in the gym, I don't be picking up no phone calls. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> me, me and you, we, 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 we was out before the beepers came out. Exactly. Uh, so, rumor mm-hmm. has it, uh, you in the hitting business like Charlie Lau. <laughs> First of all, for those of y'all that, that wins, guy, but I appreciate it. So first of all, some of y'all don't know Charlie Law because y'all ain't deep in the game like me and Joey. Yeah, Can you tell them who Charlie Law is and tell me about the hitting business next? Charlie Charlie Law was a hitting instructor for became famous for hitting instructor for Kansas City Royals back in the day. Basically, is because of George Brett and some other people, you know. Right. So he's an old school hitting instructor, but basically, I my basis of hitting comes from Ted Williams reading Ted Williams' book. And understanding the the part the lower body plays and hitting, and that's been become my passion all the way back. And you can go back to my first year of college, and I've always talked about hitting. Always, I've been enamored by it. Working, you know, different things, and I try to keep updated on it. I don't, I don't try to get stuck in oh, this is my way or this is the right way to do it. I even read the book about body movement principles. That's what I'm into a lot now, just making the kids move their so the right way to get ready for the baseball and then you got a good chance to put a good swing on it. So keep it simple as that. This is why me and Joy are like. So if Joy's mm-hmm. gonna be a hit instructor, he yeah. gonna shoot to be the best hit instructor in the world. That mm-hmm. that's his goal like me. If I'm gonna do entertainment, I'm gonna try to knock pit bull off or on a given <laughs> day I'm because just because we're in Key West don't mean that we oh. can't have somebody hit yeah. four hundred or four or six like Ted Willis. There's only one person that did that. So that that man has been very um, humble, but the reality of the situation, that man be in the hitting cage. You know, we ain't in them fancy cages. We still old school at the park mm-hmm. or whatever, day in and day out, helping kids go to the next level. So, you know, we we, uh, we ain't won the state championships since 05. Uh, we was uh, got a good team uh, coming out, but, you know, we had the situation with the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, all hands aboard. I don't care who, who, who <laughs> brings something in to the table, whether it be Joey, yeah. uh, Lil Ralphie, Billy, Bobby, Sally, Sue, anybody, we got to work together for the for the good of the community and the kids. But I think that it's overall just, we're doing good. Yeah, it, it's just, you know, what people got to realize it's a different world. Key West is a different place. Baseball was king. It's still kind of king in Key West. But when we played, you know, I always go back and tell people when I was in Major League, there was 10, 12 teams there. 
when I coached my first year in 93, we had eight teams in Pony League, you know, for crying out loud, 12 teams in Midget League when I started out back in 89. So it's just the, the amount of kids you had to choose from. It was king. It wasn't as many sports. There's a lot right. of reasons it's different. It's a different, totally different atmosphere out there. And all the private schools are just corrupted okay. sports, period. Can I, ask high school you, sports. can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. um, these golf people it's really, really, really trying to tell me that you could compare hitting the golf ball to a baseball. Can you tell them what time it is straight up without sugarcoating stuff? <laughs> Well, there's no nothing, that, that's for, no, I'm not sure you know, them. <laughs> there is some similarities in the way you move your body and use your hips in golf and baseball. I do tell kids, people used to be anti-golf when in my day because they thought you swing up when now we realize you do swing up to hit a baseball. Everybody swings up to hit a baseball. I don't care if you tell them to swing down. They swing up to hit a baseball. Point blank. 100%. That's, that's, that's where launch angle comes so we, from. We, and all that we ain't teaching no more uh, swing down. No, no, no. That's out the window. That's out the window. That went out of window a long time Williams. That's, I read that book in 1985. So right out the window. Well, you knew I that back then? Because I wanted to, of course, talk about that. So why would you tell them to swing down? Swing down. It's just, they, <laughs> they just, it's a bad approach to the baseball. Gotcha. But watch people, even if they told us that. We still didn't do that because your body's got to move a certain way. You're saying you it's hit. almost impossible to, to do that. No, you, yeah, if you actually go up there and try to do that. Tomahawk. Tomahawk, yeah. Right, yeah. You can make a negative launch angle, they call it now. Oh, That's okay. what everybody gets caught up in all the measurements. It's gotcha. just measurements. But anyway, um, getting to the point, back to the point about golf and baseball. The golf ball sitting there, the club's flat. Okay. There's no way you can compare that to trying to hit a 95 mile high fastball or whatever. Now, if you want to say golf is hard because you got to control it where you hit it and stuff like that, I'll buy that. Yeah, but sure. there's nothing harder to do in all, in all the sports. I can promise you that there's nothing harder to do. Okay, I'm going to give you one today. You probably don't have this one in your arsenal. Uh, what does PGA stand for? Professional Golf Association. Posture, grip, and alignment. Oh, you know how yeah. I learned that? Oh, no. uh, shout out to our coach, uh, Pedro Fraga. He said, you're going to go over there and learn golf for the summer. I said, man, I'll oh, do whatever you tell me. Uh, and that, the lady told me posture, grip, and alignment. The teacher bat in your hand. That's a good one, right? That's a, absolutely a good gotcha, one. Gotcha, gotcha. So I talk about posture in my lessons all the time. <laughs> Ask any of my kids, 8, 9, 10 years old, they'll tell you that I use posture and where your chest I, is I at. I want you, because over here, you know, we're big on customer service. So we want to make sure we don't miss none of these people on these three uh, monitors here. So can you scroll and make sure we got everything go from wherever you left off? And if well, you I need talk, the peepers, I, you're good. I, I yelled at Carly. Yeah, yeah, I need the peepers. I'm old yeah. as hell. Carly Adam becoming a regular oh, on the show. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, Carl was the last one, I think, to sign on over here for me. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Excuse me. I think we got one. Who's that person right there? Oh, Christina. One. Yeah. Six. So this yeah. is a wave. What we call oh, a yeah. wave cam. That's Alex. So system. this. That's, I think this joint first watch for the system. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, okay. You talking about the black burger? Yeah. Oh, okay. Doing it big. Boy, when that boy stole the base, it was serious. He could run. Oh, man. Yeah. Who's the I fastest player you ever played with? On the baseball field, if you had to remember off the top of your head, Wims had to be up there. Fastest player? Yeah, like the run them bases. That had speed. That I ever played with. Yeah. You're off, saying. off the top of your your head. I mean, to me, the players I played Al was probably the fastest guy on our team. Gotcha. There's no doubt. Gotcha. Joey was a good base runner and fast, but he was Joey Warlow? baseball speed. You know, he was fast. Oh, uh, somebody fast. said hello to you. I told them uh, I seen him at lunch. Mm -hmm. One of your uh, 84 uh, teammates said, make sure to tell them that Joey Gando was the best quarterback ever in the history of football. <laughs> that ain't and the right. best in third base. That's guess who said that, if you had to guess? Uh, Good old jungle rat. A jungle rat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so come on in. If you got to use J-Rat, that ain't true, but I thank you. <laughs> hey, old Joey man. Myers is a straight-up goat. Keep us eye. If you got any, that straight, any right questions on, on hitting, we, we enjoy Joe, mm -hmm. but let me tell you something. This hitting, to me, the earlier you can hit, the, the, the earlier you can play sports, uh, start on it right away. The earlier, the better. So sure. you, you you out there, what? How many days you do hitting? Well, it's when I'm off from the fire department. So it's, it's probably an average of four, three to four, maybe five days a week sometimes. It depends on what week I'm off a lot. But I would say average of three to four days a week right now. Okay, so and over here I got Esther Gibb checking in. How about that boy Mikey Story? Mikey what Story oh, oh, yeah. Scott King, uh, Carl Allen checking in, Tavia checking in. 
That boy Mike Story said, big dogs, uh, big dogs come cry doing it big. Oh, hell no. Mike, guess who checked in full Rich Stock Island? Him. When Stock Island check in and turned the gangster gangster. Uh, My yeah. man uh, Michael checking in, doing it big. Stock Island, y'all come on in. Stock Mercy Island. checking in. Uh, Carmenita checking Nana, in. Nana checked in. I see you over there. I can Where? read yours better than mine. Where? Nana, Lydia. Oh, yeah, yeah. She in her back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Demita. That's Lydia Blanco she... says, I'm sports Mercy. dog. Uh, sports time with Joey and Louis. Uh, cool cats. Uh, in case you you want to get it twisted, mm -hmm. uh, in '86, uh, Lydia uh, Blanca was a homecoming queen. Yeah, we was. had seven girls on the homecoming court. That's a whole different show. We ain't gonna get into that, but we had seven. Uh, Jack Jack Norris checking in. Jack, I love you checking in. Uh, I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling. I'm gonna stay one billion percent positive. I don't see. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a doctor or scientist. This is just a positive vibes. I don't see uh, a shutdown of the country in the future, and I think uh, cases will go up and down, and then you got to learn how to live with the COVID, and if you got a problem, head to advanced urgent care, take ivermectin, and go back right on your feet. In two, three days, you'll be out there rocking and rolling, but you got to be careful out there. I ain't stopping you from hitting the baseball. I see taking your, I seen you today taking all the protocols when I roll by there. Yeah. And it's hot out there. I wear my mask when I'm close to the kids and stuff like that. And now when I back away and pitch, then I take it, I take it off. Oh, hell no. Nah. Look who came in there. Hell no. Nah. Iggy? No. Oh, Brooks. Brooks, Brooks Carey. Brooksy. Brooksy straight out of the bottom of Orioles <laughs> doing it big. That man ain't no when I say joke. Brooksy, Brooksy, Brooksy. He knows. Brooks he knows what I'm truth. talking about already. <laughs> Kyle Ripken Jr., shout out. That man big. Listen, say what y'all want. This man is a true. Ignacio. That man knows some baseball. So now sure. Ignacio want to play games. So now I'm going to have to call him out. You ready? Oh, Ignacio, talk big, right? Oh boy. I say, Ignacio, when you come on the show, that been two months ago. Ignacio, bring your ass on the show. Stop being scary. Will you come on the show and make it happen? I got Isabel uh, checking in. Says, what's and up, Louis? The kids would have wanted to eat again, but now he's he's We're going to get, we gonna get to that on the 305. Yeah, I know he's hiding now. Um, I Michael knows on your side. Let me know what you got on your side. Let's keep it cracking. Let me see what else you got. What, what Carly I said on your side? Oh, why we don't have the mask right now? Well, we have the uh, mask right here. Yeah, we have the we have the mask right here, so it's all good. And me and Joey, we we pretty much uh, together every other day, so yeah. we both clean. Yeah. It's all good, so that's why. Uh, who you got, notes uh, on your side? Let me see. Anybody I, I miss? Point. I get two uh, points. Mike bro. Mercy uh, Shula. <laughs> who? Mercy Shirley. Mercy, what's going on? That's my girl. Dominique the Cure. That's my niece. Yeah, you got that one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Tell me. That's my wife's niece, Mercy Shula. Dominique, you said? No, Dominique. Dominique Cure. Dominique, baby girl. The Demita. Demita. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Looks Lydia serious. Blanco. Is... Yeah, I got her. Okay. Yeah. Jack Show Norris. Me the Jack Show Norris. I got all of them. The last one I got well, is we Amber. Get some honesty in politics. Aunt Amber. <laughs> Amber Beth. Checking in. Anybody else on your and side? And I can't be bought. Yeah, after that's Amber. One. That's it. Okay, and Joey, I think he caught up. What did he say? Brooks, he said, Joey and Blake or Louie, the winning ticket for sure. Okay. And Something that, to that effect. How about, how about Benita? What you doing? <clears throat> oh, Benita, that's yeah. my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you got your 85. dog checking in. Hey, your dog man. in there below that. Read that one out to the people. Hey, Louie and Joey. What's up, Benita? Okay, so she says, up, hey, Louie and Joey from uh, Coconut Creek. You got J.P. Garcia coming in. Oh, that's my Bob, boy. check Hey, J.P., that man will truck you. Yeah. And uh, now I'm going to get to that. That's that, another one. Believe now that J.P., you know, J.P. real, the truth. JP, oh, no, that man uh, bonafide platinum before the mm -hmm. records was up. Listen, so now I'm going to get to this uh, here because I had this question written down, which, matter of fact, J.P. came on a good time. <clears throat> what do you think about them Conks playing Northwestern in the playoffs? Can I get a comment? <laughs> That's interesting. I definitely would like to go. Are we going to be allowed to go to the games? Or? Uh, right now, the protocol, <laughs> as I understand from the AD's office, is uh, kids are given three tickets, I believe. Don't call oh, me because I must have, talk. Must have something did tell me that. That's yeah, right. so that's basically where they're at. I'm hoping so that I we can get one. I think I can go. So I'm going to check you, that out. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's you know crazy. how I feel about the UVIP, but you know, some people get mad around here. So, <laughs> so it is what it is. So listen, I know me and you disagree on this point. I, I wouldn't give a damn who we playing or Western, the Pittsburgh Steelers, whoever we got to go out there and crack it helmets because I can't say we'll beat no Western 10 out of 10, but maybe we'll beat them 2 we, out of 10. We don't disagree on the premise of we take on people. I understand it. What we disagree on is that how many times can a kid from here 
28 kids run their head into a fence post or, you know, a cement pole and, you know, come out on top. They, they can't do it. You, you're, you're fighting a battle that you can't win. You know, it's like... They said you couldn't beat Alex Fernandez and you did. <laughs> right now, let's keep it yeah. 100. But we were good. No. <laughs> we different. See, Rocky was different. <laughs> now, now, let me we, tell you. I got beat up. I got shoulder neck injuries from playing on the teams. That's Carly on the teams. We played in football and everybody. Everybody knows that JP. Now, let me tell we you. We took on everybody, but it's a different era. Let me tell you this. So, we played No Western, I believe, last year. And we and played we, we, we was in We was in the game. Um, at halftime, I think it was a very low scoring game, so that's really tough. No, no, it wasn't, but it was somebody. No, no, West we we was in the game. Yeah, Trust me. I know. Yeah. But the thing is, usually when you're an overmatched team, if you do play good, you can play for a little while, yeah, yeah. and eventually yeah, they get yeah, you, they tough. wear you down. Yeah. Football's a different See, animal, man. It's, Baseball, we can still do yeah. that, and it's hard still to win because they stack teams so bad now with these private schools. It's just it's a complete joke, high school sports. But Baseball, I got no problem with it. Football is a, a physical but game you, why you where kids are joke? taking a path. Why you say it's a joke? The way they stack. Uh, oh, you're talking about how yeah, the, the, the way, private. Yeah, yeah. Guys. Yeah. Well, in, in all sports, look, look at the yeah, private. Me and Ralph was talking about that. It's gotcha. just a, what you're up against now with the private schools is just ridiculous. So I want you to read from your side on what you got in there because I think you got uh, some people commenting and make sure we don't miss nobody. Uh, Erica Brown came in. Carl Allen said, "Wow, no one was in." Yeah, yeah that. Brooks. What's Brooks talking about? <laughs> Brooksy, Brooksy, Brooksy in the house. Louis just blew me off. <laughs> <laughs> For me, me, I got you. <laughs> you, you got to make the kids believe. Carl Allen says, "Gabby Henriquez." And Mike Enriquez comp pride, nothing like it. Absolutely. Hey, thank you all for coming in. Two of my favorite people. Did we right miss there. Brooksy on something? I don't think I missed no, Brooksy. No, no, Brooksy says Brooksy, Brooksy. That's an inside joke. He told me a story a long time ago. Oh, yeah. And you know Brooksy got stories. So, Bro 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 Ray Friend and Nolan Ryan. He knows when I say Brooksy. Hey, Brooksy, 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 Brooksy
if we don't win the state championship this year, if we could play, listen to this. I want right. you to listen to Ray. He Cleary. told me. I got he it. says that he will be fully responsible. Nobody else, no kids, nobody but him. Now, you tell me if that's not the remember the Titan mentality. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. real, though, right? Yeah, that's real. Uh, Carlos uh, Marquis coming in. Tasha checking in. JC in the building, number one la DJ in the key. Oh, Lord. There he is, boy. What a character. Victor goes up. Yeah. Big, big. Okay, I'm gonna uh, Victor, up? I hate to do it blood raw, but I'm gonna have to say a story with me, Joy, and you was in the car oh, going to the stage. Go. Don't, be, don't be bringing that shit up, man. <laughs> so, so, so basically, we were riding me and Joey. So, Vic, you know, Vic, a big dog. He, he was uh, Floyd Mayweather before. Some things ain't made for this, see, Rob. I'm gonna good. keep it PG. Oh, I was gonna say, you know, right. I love Vic. Me and Vic a dog. But it is what it is. you. That man may be married or something now. Not that I had anything to do with well, it. He wasn't married then. I know. It was 30 years ago. Whatever so, that so when it happened, and we pulled up. Where were we? Sarasota, I believe. Or something. Sarasota. Sarasota. So I, 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 I want to get to the, I wanna get to the, the first home. championship, 94. Yeah. We lost. The one we should have won. Yeah, we, 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 we was down 7-1, yeah. and That's then we tied, team. but we still didn't get it. So six one I think, and then we came back. But yeah. a quick story. So slick Vic coming in, you know he he balling. Uh, Vic balling. So I'm saying, Joy, Joy, can we just go to the hotel? But Vic want to make a pit stop. This so I ain't gonna walkie talkies. Yeah, yeah. The whole way. Listen. So I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna make no. Uh, uh, you know I'm not gonna tell you location. You know for for uh, uh, confidential Mark prices. Mark on. There he is. There he is. What's so, up? So let me finish telling the story. So then so then Vic decide he gonna stop, and this thing you know Vic. Uh, by the time we get to the hotel, his budget was spent 80%. I said, I told you don't be going out there to the establishment and just chill, but you want to ball like Floyd Mayweather. So now this is where we are. So that man was hot with me the whole trip. Well, that was a fun trip. Bro. That was awesome. It would have been better if we'd have won. If we'd have won, that would have Gotcha. Don't we have Macho, the Macho Man out there with us at the time? No, that was a football. Oh, that's right. The Tony the Beach. Yeah. God damn, boy. You made me sorry. Um, Bob Taper, uh, check you out. Thank you for checking in. What, what is what they saying over there, Carly Allen? Read that. Read whatever he said. Don't don't sugarcoat what he said. <laughs> he says no. He says Louis, you and Joey wrong. Let the man believe he was better than Louis. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Carly. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I gotta be a morale builder. My bad, gotcha. cause I was just playing. Who is Michael? Knows who we got on your side. Make sure we didn't miss nobody. We miss everybody. I can't miss nobody. People, we get mad at me on the streets, Mike. Oh, who we got? Let me see. We got Amber Beth. Amber? Yeah, oh. we got Jason Garcia. Jason, oh, we got him. And he uh, said preach, Gandy. So hey, we got Carlos. Mm -hmm. Carlos, I yeah. Preach gang. Carlos, who else? What's up, Jason? If you, if you have a problem with the last yeah. name, just say their first name. Keep it moving. We Toy, uh, Toyson? Burgess? Okay, got her. My last one is Bob Taper. You got anybody? Yeah, uh, that's, from that's, that's it. Okay, good. Okay, now... Uh, we, you ready? No, we're going to start getting cracked. So y'all come on in. Hey, listen, I'm got an APB, All Points Bulletin. <clears throat> Acosta want to talk, man. Put that, man. Come on on the live. Let's get it cracking. Um, <laughs> I'm going to just say it like it is. You ready to go blood roll? Let's go. Miami Heat, can you put some respect on it? I put respect on them already. They, they have a good team. They play hard. I, I gave them all the props in the world. And I knew there was going to be the Lakers just too small like we would have been probably too, but they um they got a good team, man. They got a lot of heart. I like the way they play. I always love Spolster as a coach. I'm glad he got a little credit because he coached LeBron, you know, so they didn't really give him full credit. Man, those basketball, he's a real deal. And they get the right type of players to play their system. Well, so you got to give them that much. I appreciate what you said because you recognize that leadership. Yeah, uh, and Raleigh, and then, of course. Yeah. And then my man Anley uh, Ellisberg, VP of the Heat, went to St. Thomas with me, started as an intern picking up cuffs in the bleachers. Yes, so I appreciate that because that took a lot from you. I know that you, I, I, I'm trying to see how, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm asking you, is there any way, some type of way that um, we could uh, soften up on Miami teams? Is that ever going to happen in no, life? No, that's not. That's not I can't. Nah. So can you tell me why that, that, uh, animosity or, or, or <laughs> hate on Miami. Hey, I want you to keep we blood raw on the program today. It comes, I mean, just tell me what it is. Yeah, it's just it's our rivals. We played against them, you know. My my dad passed it down to me probably, you know, he didn't like Miami teams. And that was just something in the household. And those were my rivals. I went up there and I see how we got treated. I know we played against them schools. I'm not going to go up there and now pull for these guys because I used to be even though they were good guys, I ended up knowing them like 
uh, you know, off the field, let's right. put it that way. I hated them. They were pretty boys. They were yeah. punks to us, and you know, so we yeah. played. There was a different type of robberies back then. You you got away with a lot of stuff. <laughs> when I'm hearing you, them, when I'm hearing so, you say correct, it's so hard for me to correct that and say, oh, now I'm a bull for the Dolphins because they're closer. No, keep us high as my team. Go ahead. I got you. And I respect that, and that's why I love you because it don't matter. You might not like what Joey says. Sometimes y'all might not like what I say, but we're going to say it. Yeah. So what I'm hearing you say is, is what it is. You bleed red and gray, you are blood, and you ain't going to deal with Chris. No. And that's the main example. Is that correct? 100%. So I, I, I respect that. Now, me. I'm a little bit different. Like, since Joey likes Notre Dame, and right. we're going to talk about this. And Notre Dame's playing because, I, you know, I've seen the movie Rudy and the whole thing. <laughs> I be hoping Notre Dame uh, right. uh, wins or different teams. Or even, even let's, let's say, Florida State mm-hmm. plays with usually, like you say, Blood Raw. You would never pull if you were UM ever for Florida State to win at all. You know, that's just old school principle. Right. But sometimes, depending on who they're playing, I like Florida State to win. But uh, oh, nice. Jack Niles, y'all, having some issues. Yeah, that's a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> So I grew up in a different area. You, you hated your rival. You didn't pull for him. You know, yeah, it, yeah, just, that, it was different. It's different. Okay. So uh, go ahead and get me on your side. You got a couple people coming in there. Uh, see from Carl. right from right there. Yeah, it's Carl again. No, but it's right here ahead. you got somebody. See right there. Uh, Jason, I see you. And then talk. below that one. Oh, Eric Brown. What's up, Eric? Good people right there too. Former comp athlete, basketball coach. He West high all day, all the way. Oh, that man's man. a living legend too. That's, that's a legend. Yeah, yeah Barty, that Barty played four years. Would have played four years of all the sports. Actually, I mean, they baseball and some? football. No, nah, it's a di- <laughs> different issues. But he okay. he should have played four years. He should have right. been on our '84 state championship. Really? Actually, one hundred percent. Got you. Okay. He was a good baseball player. Okay, awesome, awesome. Carly was an awesome. Um, and literally, Carly was a legend. He was like next to Speedy and Gully. And shit. Really? Right yeah. You know wow. that? No, no, I don't. But I'm, I know, I'm, but I know, I know, I know. You Carl's up there worshiping Mike Fiore back then. Carl Gay was that. Carl Gay was that. Where I came from. You know, we pumped. But I'm here now, though. You told us how good we were. We pumped him before we went to UM. Yeah. Him and Kirk Doolum. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that? And we, Alex Fernandez. That's the only ones that finished ahead of me. But see, what Joey? Let me let me tell you all this real quick, Joey. Doolum you can remember Fiore. this. In 1985, we played Pace, and what he's saying with the fans, because they talk about Key West fans, let's keep it blood going. Yeah, Pace. But let me, let me just say this. Mm-hmm. They cut the cable transmission back for the radio broadcast. I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Yeah, sure. So the game was not picked up. So this is how gangster gangster was. So me, I'm going to say, all right, well, you know, I hate uh, I hate to use the word hate, but that, that's how I feel. I don't like Pace at all. Hate and, in the sense of sports. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At know, the other, and, and, we, and now. You know, and it's. So can't say nothing. Even, even Tom right. Duffin at the end of the game, we shake hands. But back, like even as close as ten years ago, we didn't want to talk to you during. We didn't want to talk to anybody. anybody. Only say the truth. I got you. <laughs> All right, so we got ooh we Johnny Esquerdo. Do you know who that is? That's Juan Soko's brother, straight out of Miami <coughs> oh, High. Yeah, yeah, Miami yeah. High. Uh, Robert Anderson, Joe Mastermind is watching. Uh, no, stand by there on your side. I'm gonna come to you in a minute, uh, Joey. Can you give me the breakdown of the World Series? How are we looking? Well, <laughs> now it's easy to say it. Um, I still think the Dodgers will come back in the National League and, and like at least make it a series. I'm hoping that they don't choke that bad again because that's something to carry with them. But the Braves are a good young team. They got a lot of good hitters in that lineup. Gotcha. Um, I, I'm going to call it still. I think the Dodgers are going to come back and win that series. And Where are we at now? What's they the, 2-0. Really? When's 2-0. the next game? Do you know? Um, every game, every day in a row. There's no off days now. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, they're they're doing, yeah, they're doing a, so today it's a modified play? bubble in baseball. And then the uh, the Rays, they everybody <coughs> teased me about the Yankees losing too. And somebody told me that they were going to get swept by Houston. So much for that. They might be sweeping Houston tonight. They're three zero. They gotcha. got a lot of pitching on that team, man. Rays got too much pitching. Um, so now I'm gonna go. We're gonna go blood, blood, raw here. Uh, Notre Dame got some problems coming their way soon in about three weeks, huh? November 7th. Clemson, huh? Clemson coming to Notre well, Dame. Let me ask you, uh, our quarterback for the U looked pretty good to me. I don't know if you agree, disagree. I know you well, He ran good, yeah. He's running for his life. He ain't scared, though. <clears throat> no, he, well, he got a little poise. I know Derek King. You all ain't watched him. I watched him in Houston. Well, you I'm know. asking you. the yeah, sports information football. director. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, but that, nothing surprises me like that. I think, I think the team has got a lot of poise. They, they, I they try to, yeah, I try to warn... Some of my UM buddies, you know, are getting ahead of themselves, you know. No, we're not different, saying different that Clemson. Clemson's a di- Clemson's like now like Alabama and Ohio State, no schools like that. They got different numbers, 
But right. it looks like the same guy on the team every year. <laughs> they got the same defensive line, but it's just different numbers. And they ain't even had one of their best defensive ends eligible yet. So when he comes back full strength, it's going to be a t- tall task for anybody to beat him. I don't think personally we have the passing game. I think our offensive line could hold up if we could throw a little bit on him. You know, we have one of the best offensive lines in college football, so that, that could help out a lot. But I just don't think our quarterback's good enough to beat him. But Talking about the Irish? The Irish, yeah. Okay. yeah. But Straight you, up. But, but you think you'll but, fare better than the Kings? Yeah, I think it'll be a good game. Okay. Well, I don't Joey, gonna, Joey, I don't think they're going to blow us Joey up. and me had a little friendly wager, and uh, he, he whooped me. And then uh, I whooped him. Uh, we just going to go heat. back at it, though. Yeah, I, I, I whooped him. He whooped me with the heat in the cell. So now I have to ask you this. This is not on the script either. Um, okay. Uh, they're talking about that gentleman named LeBron James, uh, greatest of all, of all time. I mean, what, I mean, no, I, I got my opinion, but I want to see what the sports information director say, mm-hmm. in your opinion, because at the end of the day, there's facts that you can state, sure. and then there's opinion. Uh, Whatever that yeah. man places in, in in stats, those are facts. You can't debate that. But what's your my opinion? Problem, breakdown, my, simple terms. My problem with this, the whole soft ass generation and him in general, is that if you don't put LeBron number one. Somehow you're disrespecting him. There's all haters and stuff. LeBron is not number one. He ain't never going to be number one. And he ain't never going to be Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. That, that's just the way it is. He's a great player. He's a great human being, even better. He does a lot more off the court than Michael Jordan. If you're talking off the court, I go LeBron. You talk on the court, it's MJ all day. It's a different era, a different play. Just say they're both great and leave it alone. But nobody's disrespecting him when I say he's in the top four players in basketball history. Basketball's been being played for 100 years, and if you don't say he's number one, somehow you're a hater. Ain't no hater. Uh, well, I must be a hater because I never talked about this a lot. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just I saying, mean, that's the way it is. Like, I want I, I, I am respect. The first thing he says, you don't have to ask for respect if you the GOAT. Listen, you do, uh, no, everybody respect Michael listen, Jordan. I'm going to call <laughs> Magic Johnson. That man is no Perfect. joke. And... Um, Michael Jordan is incredible. It's like, see, I, you know, don't do this at home. Don't punch kids in, in the chest and all that. But when I watch the last dance or whatever, he punched the teeth, we don't recommend that. But that comes in the eye. Uh, <laughs> Dan, Dan Wilbur did two of them. Really? Oh, okay. he, he was just a sick, he was a competitor. A lot of people turned off, yeah. you know, from his gambling and the way he treated his teammates and stuff. But Mike. I think he made people better. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but I'm just saying, think he made Pippen better? It was a different way of motivating, though. You Mike think was, he made Pippen better? That's old school shit. You couldn't have done that today. Let me ask you this. You think he made Pippen better? Scott? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Hey, he had to everybody. Pippen left in his prime, and, you know, he wasn't. Gotcha. You know, he's a good player. Scotty's great, but he hey, ain't. Hey, do me a favor. Same hit. without Mike. And do vice versa. Scotty added some things to Mike's. Do me a favor. Hit the notification button right over here. Boop! And those of y'all watching worldwide on YouTube, hit the little subscribe button right over here. And it's all good. We talking sports. So what y'all think? Nervous, what, 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 what? Worldwide. Worldwide, like Mr. 305. Oh, so listen, tell me what y'all think. Y'all yeah. think LeBron is, is the GOAT? Or what's your opinion? Come on in. This, this is a free country. Anybody can have I hope Iggy signed off. He's going to come with all his nonsense stats. And so that. Mike knows who you got on your side. And then I'm going to go to me. And then we're going to go to Joey on that side. I don't see. I don't have nobody on mine. Okay. I got... Um, you go. You don't got Robert Anderson over there. My boy Mike Kennedy. I got Joe. Robert. I see you, Mike. Make sure you go down from Robert Anderson. Jose Bofield joined. Oh, Bofield. I'm actually serious. a catcher. Same time. Yeah. What yeah. game came out? Eighty. I don't even. I think they were Biscayne when Jose first went. Oh, yeah, right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Jose, Jose, but I think they're Biscayne College, right? When you when Jose went, he was Mary Macklin. Caught from Mary Macklin. Played prep league with him many times. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little older than me, but got Jose you. was a good ball player. Um. Mike knows Mastermind is the last one I got. Who you got? Joe Mastermind. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, and then let me see, Joey. You got um, Joey Gonzalez uh, from Marathon. I yeah. Mean, that's uh, Joey. Really son. Yeah, Blake. Yeah. Oh, baseball Basel. coach at Marathon High. What's up, Joe? Yeah, Tony uh, checking in. I just worked with two of his boys. The twins got all love. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's be good Dodgers up. up. Uh, what? Hold on, let me put my little. <laughs> oh hell no, thirteen nothing. I heard heard it. It. Is that a misprint or that's for real? Damn, that that's crazy. Yeah. But you never know. It's baseball. I, I know, think the Dodgers come back and win that game. They especially hopefully clear Kershaw will pitch a good. Well, he said Dodgers up thirteen. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. <laughs> um, if they lose that, eleven runs in the first inning, Louis Hill saying, "Wow, 
That, that's crazy. I swear, Louis, I didn't know that before I made that prediction. Yeah, yeah. This man, listen, this man, you know how I eat, wait, sleep, promotion, and marketing? This man do his thing on, on the on the sports. So this is my sports information director. And I got a sports question. I'll call you. It was this game, St. Thomas and Villanova. Okay. And then St. Thomas, yep. One hundred percent, Jose. Both yeah, and in. Jose, um, Andy Ellisberg, we and talking Milligan's about. Milligan's went. Um, yeah. And, uh, Harold and Christmas last night. Uh, sure. Um, Jose, uh, you know, Andy Ellisberg, like we was talking about earlier in the program, came out of our St. Thomas intern, right. picking up cups and the bleachers. Now the VP, that man's a wizard out there when it comes to salary caps. So Joe, let, let's let's take well, it old school. Actually, went to St. Thomas, had a cup of coffee, and then came home. Oh, you did? No, I hate to say this, but keep it. Yeah. Can I keep it blood raw? Mm -hmm. We probably have the worst. Percentage of people going away and coming, coming back, back into the world, so. and that's and that's you know that's sad. But we got to work on town community, man. You know yeah. they get they get a little soft, but we got a lot of kids that go a lot of places and do big things. When you start going to these grad, not grad nights, the the graduation week, yeah. and you hear all the awards and the, where right. these people are going, going, kids are going to college. You know, yeah. I've had like I think kids for the last. I don't even know, 10 years graduating, so I hear a lot of this stuff. How the they hell, do big things. How the hell in the World Series they score 11 runs, something broke <laughs> down. So that's not the World Series, that's a National League Championship. But oh, I get oh, your point. I got you. Any baseball game score 11 <laughs> runs in one inning. That's so you say, deal. my fault. So you're saying you, you're you going to see in the World Series who again? The Dodgers and the Rays. Okay. But 11 runs I mean, Houston in the first is always day. dangerous, and it's a game by game thing, but. Yeah. I don't think. I've seen that one time, and I'll never forget it. I don't think nobody's going back World, for real. In the World Series, they're going to play seven in a row like that, too? No, I, I think the World Series, they adjust. Okay. Yeah, you I'm not sure. Okay. I have to look. It's all new rules, guys. Yeah, so gotcha. They got me on that. I'm slipping. Okay. No, no, it's good. See, Rock deducting that out my pay. No, no, that man, man, man's on point. <laughs> When that man listen, when that man report to you know he's supposed to be at the field at four o'clock, that man gonna be there at one thirty. He gonna be early. This is the love and passion of the game or whatever. And if you take the game and you clown it, now listen, I like to play and all that, but I'll be honest with you, I'm trying to knock your head loose. Well, that's my girl, my classmate, Was on Strada. What's oh, up, Yvonne? How you, you getting doing? a lot of love? Yeah. By the time you finish, your people, you are gonna be up there with Pitbull in the Worldwide <laughs> Program. Hey, um, favorite wrestler of all time. Favorite wrestler of all time? That's Dusty Dirty Rose, the Ernie Ladd. With the, with the elbow, <laughs> bionic elbow. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Me too, I gotta agree. I mean, I that was Rock, awesome. Rocky Johnson was probably a close second to me. The Rock, y'all might know him as The Rock's father. Gotcha. Sweet Brown Sugar, I love. And came down to Key West also. That was my boy. Wee. And Austin Idol, when they went to the. See, went and started if, watching you, Atlanta. If, if you come from the school we come from, me and Joy. We ain't had all this 702 no. channels that they got. But no. let me just say this. So what we would do is we watch that uh, wrestling, I think, on Channel 6 or whatever channel it was. We love that because you know that you miss the show. This ain't going to a phone. We ain't no phones nowhere around. You miss the show. And then I'll be damned if we don't watch that program on uh, Weekend Baseball. We watch that from the beginning of time. No, no doubt. Dusty Rose, American Dream. Okay. The son of a plumber. Okay. That boy's <laughs> sweet. So all love right now. So, Joey, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. uh, Anything you want to say to youth out there trying to go to the big leagues like our man Khalil Green, straight out of Key West? Mm -hmm. Anything you could uh, put out there for the kids? Well, since I talked to most of them uh, <laughs> that are out there now, this is and you just got to work, man. The, the thing I would say to the youth, though, first is don't do like I did, thinking I'm going, and finish your college. Get, make sure you get your education first so that sticks with you, or at least educate yourself to do something that's going to set you up in life. You know, I got lucky and came home, became a fireman and stuff like that. So it worked out for me. But I went to school thinking I was playing bad. I'm like Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp makes me laugh. He always says, I majored in eligibility. Well, I did too, but I just don't have the millions like Shannon Sharp. <laughs> That's what we did, you know. So it's it's funny. I laugh about it. I try to use myself as a good, bad example because I want the best for the kids, man. They get it once a time. So never be jealous or envious of a kid because he's not yours or belong. Everybody's been there that's played sports. You know, you know how hard it is. You know how much work you put into it. Work your butt off. Give it your best shot. You only live. You only sixteen once, like I tell everybody. Live in the never, moment. You can't be twenty six and go back. Live don't, in the don't moment. Don't live in regret. That's all I tell kids. Don't ever have regret. Give it everything you got, and you can look yourself in the mirror like I do all the time. I gave it everything I got. I wasn't good enough to make it. You left it on that's the field. Tell. That was it. You left it on the field. I came home. Oh, but you give it, you give it back to youth, and that's that's very outstanding. Oh, we thank you for that. Do whatever I can for you. Let, let, let me say this: uh, 
Michael knows I see the, you see who pulled up over here, boy. Did I tell mm-hmm. you about Red this tape. guy right here? Red tape. Did I tell you about him? Joey? So this guy, Red Tape. Let's go south. <laughs> I'm with this. you on that, John Crane. So, You're right, so, John Crane. So, so Red Tater. Public servant, checking in on my thing. Red Tater pulled up, right? He broke all kinds of security bleaches out here. He okay. came in in the middle of the podcast. We don't know Tater. And he came in now. He's he a friend of the program. That man don't miss no show. That man said, the man of the hour, tower of power, too, too sweet, sweet to be, be solid. Uh, That's the rose. <laughs> if you will, baby, son of a plumber. That, that yeah. man's serious. All right, Joey, so we're right sure. Rose. Who, who else you got over there? I want to make sure we ain't missing nobody. No, make John, sure you Jonathan got... Crane just checked in. I thought you'd go Celtics. You I'm with you on that. that. Yeah. Yvonne. Yvonne, check. Tony Gonzalez, you join? Okay. What's up, Tony? How you doing? Florida Keys injury. Uh, lawyers, accident lawyers in the Keys. Go to FloridaKeysIndy.com at 302 Southern Street. Locals taking care of locals. Thank you for the sponsorship. Advanced Urgent Care, Key West Marathon, and Key Largo. Now offering Keys Cares, the $89 health plan with two Ks. This is the best thing going. And man, oh man, boy, oh boy. Me and Gandalf going to get back over here. Paradise, 124 Duval Street. Have you found Paradise? All love today, boy. I got to tell you, boy. Uh, Joey Joey looked like he, 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 uh, he coming in worldwide on the sports you might have to bring Joey in. You never know on a, on the show on his own because that boy big. Red Tater says, uh, um, "Nope, that's Red Tater already." We checked in with anybody on your side knows. Uh, no, last one I got is Tater. And that's who you have you had before Tater? Uh, let's see. One hundred percent, Carl. Carl saying, "Get them books and you can get her." It's another Louis Louis Leo. That was okay. It. So I got it. So Joey, you a gentleman and a scholar. Um, so. Uh, you know, if we wasn't, uh, you know, wagering, I, I would uh, hope Notre Dame win. But, you know, you said go ahead and wager, so we're going to do it for fun. This is for fun. Right. And listen, anybody watching out there, you know, I'm not saying because Joey is my brother, and you uh, want to get to the next uh, level of hitting, this man does it for the love of the kids. Make sure you go to Joey Gandalf on Facebook and reach out to him because at the end of the day, it's hard <laughs> to win state championships. We ain't won one in a while. We need to work together. There's a little model we got called One Human Family. We need to start from zero all the way to high school, and we need to have an open line. You know how we do this, you know, uh, Virgil stuff or whatever? Well, we need to be on the same page. Because if I call Joey right now, I said, Joey, what killers you got coming in? And, uh, and, and uh, Little Lee, you're going to tell me what's coming up, right? Sure. So we got to be ahead of the curve. Because Miami, they ain't sleeping. No. Them boys out there creeping. And, you know, West Minnesota and, Christian, they, they creep into and, and to be fair, like I tell everybody, don't matter who's coaching. You got Billy Martin coaching he was I, <clears throat> And you can never coach a team and, and give the kid, each kid the time it takes to work on their hitting. So it's, it's nothing about who coaches or who don't coach because obviously Ralphie and them um, coach and do a good job over there and we got a good working relationship, so I'm all good with that. But they need you need extra swings. Everybody knows that. Anybody's ever played the game knows enough. you got to work. Yeah, you got to you got to work on hitting. Hitting is something that's hard. Put it like so this: whoever you go to, go get extra. I'm not promoting myself. <clears throat> Just go to get whoever. I'm very comfortable with what I know about hitting. I put enough time into it to know since I, since I've been a young kid. So, but the bottom line is you need hitting for whoever you want to get extra cuts from. You got to go and, hit. And if you want to be a, a good hitter. You got to go hit. And if you don't know anything about baseball, you'll learn today. So what it is, is if you hit the ball three out of ten, yeah. you got three hits out of ten. That means you fail seven. You're on top of the world. Now, Still you go good. anywhere and do your job three out of ten, they fire you before the day's out. You see what I'm saying? So this is real serious stuff, and you just got to keep working. And anybody can bring to the table, we take it. Who you got on there? What both feel talking about? What do you say? Read that for the people. He said, channel what you know. On the field with your school studies, I got more degrees than Key West in the summer. Got got to have those diplomas. Yep, one hundred percent. I was there. I agree. Carl, with you. and I don't even care. Like I ain't even. <clears throat> if you don't even like have something in school, do your trade. Do a trade school. Do something that you Probably. set yourself up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, guys. And, and, and Core Island's coming in there. What do you say? H- hitting is work. And work. you got to put this. You got to yeah, put in the time. His son was great, At, too. Ashley checking in much. there. Uh, Mikey yeah. checking in. So, listen, you got, like the man said, you got to put in time. It's like entertainment. Sure. Man. 
You can't go be, uh, you know, Pitbull come out here one week and you won't be like DJ Khaled. That ain't going to work. We tell you that's not going to work. So anybody bring anything to the table? Oh, Mikey Freeberry join. I see that. My man. Anybody bring anything to the table? Oh, Ashley. Uh, You cannot have enough. You can't have enough resources and the keys and it just good like this man helping youth out there. And you know what? Um, we ain't let nobody off the hook. I'm hoping we could uh, have a full season. It looks good right now. Everything all love. So thank you all for coming in on the podcast. And me and Joe, we going to keep bleeding red and gray. We're going to keep going at it. That's Who said Devin Conks ain't bad? Ha!